Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Trend Dealer. So guys, in this amazing episode, we're going to discuss the most brutal couple arguments in 90 Day Fiancé. Are you guys excited? Let's get started. So keep up with me to the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. Number seven, Lauren and Alexei, wedding day. Lauren and Alexei are one of the few couples who seem to have a really healthy relationship and went on to have a baby. Their wedding day was far from perfect though. They had a dramatic argument, which is out of their characters that many fans suspected was fake. It all started when Lauren wanted him to take pictures with the family, while Alexei insisted upon going upstairs. They fought about it on the camera, but it wasn't all that bad. It's actually good for partners to have a fight every once in a while, rather than avoid conflict all the time. Number six, Danielle and Muhammad, deportation threats. When it comes to this couple, the red flags were flying high from the get-go. It's a miracle that Danielle and Muhammad actually tied the knot, but the happiness didn't last. These two had more explosive arguments than fans could count, but one of the most memorable ones was one of the last ones that happened in Miami. Danielle threatened to deport Muhammad, and she even threw documents at him. Muhammad was calmer than her. He used to be feisty, but probably lost all his energy somewhere along the way. Number five, Nicole and Azan visiting Morocco. It was pretty obvious that Nicole hadn't traveled much in her life since she couldn't grasp the concept of cultural differences. In Morocco, it is highly unusual to kiss and hug someone in public, so Azan was hesitant to show her affection while showing her around. As insecure as she is, Nicole took his distance as a sign that he doesn't like her. She cried and cried while Azan tried to explain the local customs to her, but to no avail. Number four, Jorge and Anfisa, before the visa interview. Fans would think anyone would be on their best behavior right before her visa interview, but Jorge had no such luck. And Fisa quickly loses her patience since he forgot something and had to return to the flat. As he's already on his way, she yells after him, bring me my red bag with my makeup, which instantly became one of her most memorable quotes. And Fisa and Jorge are just one of the many couples that are no longer together. They were definitely among the strangest and most abusive couples in the history of the TLC show. Number three, Pedro loses it at a family gathering. This argument wasn't exactly between the couple itself, but since it was by far the most explosive one, it has to be included on the list. Pedro and Chantel had a family dinner that ended up in Pedro and Chantel's brother throwing fists. The two families didn't get along from the very beginning. Everyone felt bad for Chantel, who acted as a peacekeeper between them. The couple got together in 2016, and it seems that trials and tribulations never end for these two. They blame cultural differences, but it's high time they admit to themselves they shouldn't blame everything on that. Number two, Darcy and Jesse, threats at the dinner table. It seems like the only two adults in Darcy's household are her daughters, since Darcy and Jesse both act like children. After being instructed how to cut the steak for the first family dinner, Jesse stormed out. Instead of coming back inside, he was sulking outside and made it seem as if he was the victim. The whole thing spiraled out of control the next day when Jesse accused Darcy of throwing shoes at him and he told her that he is going to call the police. The toxic couple eventually broke up as one of the biggest stars of the show, Darcy got another chance and introduced us to her new prospect, Tom from the UK. Number one, Jorge and Anfisa. Anfisa bellowed and hit Jorge. Jorge and Anfisa had two more fights that fans will never forget. The first one transpired over the phone when Jorge wanted to go see his lawyer. Anfisa lost it and screamed at him through the speakerphone. Jorge looked absolutely defeated. When they met with an attorney at another occasion, Anfisa ended up punching Jorge. A true mess. That brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.